Hey there, what's up? My name is V. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well by the time you see this video. So today's topic is how do they see you? How do they see you? Do they see you as someone attractive, intelligent, dramatic, catty, friendly, sexy, lovable, adorable, hardworking, we're going to figure it out. So before you, we have piles one, two, and three. Please subscribe if you like pick a cards. I post one every single morning. And I also do collaborations with other fellow, fellow tarot readers who I love. I love to work with them and bring fun topics to you. So yeah, join us every time, every month. We have new ones coming every week, it seems like. All right, let's do this. So um, think of yourself. Which pile, which deck would you like me to use to find your message? Choose with your intuition. And then for your second option, we have the crystals or the decks. Vision of the Oracle with this uh, geode here. The second one is Ashlan Oracle with this carnelian. And the third one is Divine Circus with this clear crystal quartz. Timestamps and decks that I'm using are below in addition to my... Autumn's Delight Oracle, and I'll see you over in the timestamps. Thank you for being here. Okay, so how do they see you? Let's figure that out. How do they see you? So first of all, I would like to know who we're asking about. Is it a partner, a friend, a family person, a family member, an acquaintance, a crush? You let me know in the comments below. We have this lovely lady here holding on her notes, holding on to her notes. Her eyes are closed. She's super focused. She's super into her thoughts, into her, into her goals. What do you think? Use your intuition. What do you see with this, this card right here? Let's work together. I see someone who's like, who has her, yeah, she has her ish together. And she also has an agenda. She, I also feel either she is either a manifester, someone who likes to write down their wishes or their, their intentions. Their, yeah, everything that they want to accomplish, they, they either manifest this. Um, yeah, you see the light shining through here. Uh, I would say maybe someone who's a seer. So I think they see you as like maybe like a prophet, like a prophet. They probably see you as someone who's like very intuitive or empathic. Someone who I would say like a a, a Virgo. <laughs> um, no, I would I would say that they, they see you as someone who's a goal getter, someone who has their stuff together, someone who she knows what she wants. She is very um, in tune with her own self, her own higher self. And then paired with that. Look at that. We have the book here, Comprehension. So someone very intelligent. They see you as someone who's got their brains together. They got <laughs> their brain. No, you have your brain together. You have your, your insight. Very intuitive. Very smart. And then we have what you need to know about how they see you. We have this lovely lady looking down. Looking in the corner. She's thinking. She's thinking. Look, we even have the thinker here. The thinker, yes, see, comprehension, understanding. So they see you very intelligent. They see you very creative as well. And it could be, see, she's confined to this monkey or the orangutan here. So it could be that maybe she, maybe they see you uh, connected to higher source or connected to your, like, I don't know if they, they see you as a someone who, is either confined or not confined, but more like um, committed. You're committed to something. You're committed. You hold, hold values, strong values to something. You're very like attached to your lifestyle or your, your way of thinking. Maybe it's hard for you to step outside of your comfort zone or outside of your, your thinking cap. So they see you're set in your, they see you as someone who's set in their ways. She's very, oop, she's very connected to herself. Um, and connected to her orangutan. So this can be you connected to your, your craft, 
your craft. And I, with these little papers going around, it could be that you, maybe you work with your divination tools closely. Um, we have the thinker here. Yeah, someone maybe who's a great problem solver. Someone who's just up in their airspace, the thinking space, their head cap. Their thinking cap. <laughs> their head space, that's what I meant to say. And then clarify that is the, the memento. The memento is not moments. It's memento. It's like capturing. Yeah, it's capturing that. It's like you holding a souvenir close to your heart. And you holding your values close to your heart. Like she's holding this orangutan. She's like the rich, very, very attached to it. So you're attached to something or you just have, you find pride in your craft, in your work, in your lifestyle. And you, maybe you collect little mementos to help you remember how far you've come. So I think they see you as someone who's very proud of her or his accomplishments. Someone who is de devoted and dedicated to their craft. So it can be someone who, thinks of you as someone who's just a master at their craft and very professional and you you're serious about it you you mean business you're not just tapping into this just for the heck of it you, this is your lifestyle this is your your purpose next we have what they think about you so they think of you as this beautiful elegant being she's sitting on her throne she has a maid and you have abundance all around you. You have the fish. You have this beautiful bird right here. Beautiful blossoms. You're sitting on your throne like you don't have a care in the world. So they see you as someone who's very, who, who has mastered their craft. And now you're up up and up in your, in your, uh, in, on your throne, living the life like the Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting like the Nine of Pentacles here. The Nine of Pentacles. Fine, luxurious life. On the way to the Queen of Pentacles. And then clarifying we have the transformation someone yeah yeah look it's like the ugly duckling turned into the swan or they thought that she was an ugly duckling but it was really a swan or they thought he was an ugly duckling but it was really a swan it was just that he was a different breed different kind so i think that they see you as someone who's rare a rare gem and that you have become somebody very very beautiful and different inside and out and not it's not just the surface it's like who you are inside you know Close your eyes. They don't see you. They don't see you. I mean, they do see you with their eyes, but they see you also in a different light. This light is shining bright. Her eyes are closed, though. So I think they see you. They see your aura for what it is. A very upbeat, high, high vibration you have about you. And they see you as someone who's, who's going places. Because we have leaves here, I, I don't know, like transformation, like changing. These, these leaves are changing colors. So I think they see you as someone who's exploring themselves and you're going places. And we have different stages. It's like you working, you working on your craft. You st still, yeah, you're in the middle of your craft. So you still haven't let it go. You're still in the middle of it. You still are with your orangutan attached by the ribbon. You see the ribbon? Still thinking, thinking, thinking. Her eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. Oh, her eyes. Oh, her eyes are finally open. Maybe you have an awakening here. All right, let's see. And these two females look alike. Okay, let's see. What's your guidance? Well, how else do they, do people see you? Pile number one. Someone who's who's going places. Someone who they admire. They probably look up to you because you're. You have your head screwed on, right? You look at that thinking, thinking. You have your head screwed on, right? And you're still thinking. Oh my gosh, and I just realized she's attached by a ribbon, a, a ribbon of light to a symbol right here. So you're still working on your craft. You're still not letting go. You're not parting ways with your lifestyle, your craft, or what you're good at. So how else do they see you? How else do they see you? I'm using my fortune cookie oracle. All the links that I use are down below links to the cards that are used we have beware narcissistic energy all right that's funny hold on I'll, I'll tell you in a second how else do they see you how else do they see you timeless reading how else do they see you oh humble quenching your thirst and breaking the mold all right this is what i'm getting 
the narcissistic energy this is like you yeah you're into yourself you you're working on your craft you're it's not in a negative way it's more like you're focusing on you you're mastering yourself self mastery you're um trying to be the best of the best version of yourself that you can be look at that so we got a memento here this is like a picture Cap a moment was captured looking at a picture we have looking into the mirror we have what else right here? Memento, memento. You're capturing that moment. See what I'm saying? So it's like someone, I don't know, someone sees you as maybe a, a beautiful picture on a wall. Or they see you as someone who, they've got their stuff together and they're very in tune with themselves. And they love looking at you. I don't know, like they see you as this beautiful little creature like they love looking at your your appearance your appearance is very attractive and your aura so look light shining we have the lights here well not there this one light shining um we have okay so then we have humble heart so you're very humble you've you've come a long way that's what i'm saying it's not a negative thing this narcissistic card is not a, a negative thing here it's more like you you know who you are or they love looking at you they love looking at the person you've transitioned into transformed into humble they see you are human uh, i'm sorry human hum yeah you're human no they're seeing you as a humble person you've come a long way so you've you know you're not like this <coughs> not a person who thinks that you're better than everybody else you're not that type of person um and then we have yeah see that's what i'm saying narcissistic humble you're not hum you're not all about yourself you know you're just very in tune with yourself or you look within you fix your you fix yourself. You're like doing shadow work or something. You're like, you maybe you see things in a different way. Maybe they see you in a different way. You know, they see you as this beautiful spiritual being, humble. And then we have quenching your thirst. You're satisfying yourself. You're doing what you need to do on this quest. They see you going places. Yeah. You're following your curiosity. You're following where your heart is leading you. And then we have breaking the mold. Yes, that's what I'm saying transformation breaking the mold you're changing into something more purposeful you know you're like you're meant to do things in life and they see this beautiful butterfly that you're becoming that you've become and you are becoming if you would like to exchange energy for energy with me i would love to invite you to join our youtube memberships or our patreon page same 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 rewards and yeah it's a way to give back to the channel and support this mission of mine and i thank you for your support now we're on to pile number Pound number two. Pound number two, what's up? We have the carnelian here. How do they see you, pound number two? Okay, how do they see you? Love. Oh my gosh, they have love for you. They see, or they see that you're full of love. You're like this loving, caring person. Maybe you are very empathic as well. Maybe you you have strong, you show strong feelings for other people. Let me shut this light off. Maybe they see that you're very, like your heart is very big. Or you're lovable. You're sweet. You're adorable. That's what I'm getting with that love card. Um, let me clarify. All right. How? Please help me clarify this love card. Please help me clarify this love card. All right. We got escape. Oh boy. All right. What I'm getting with this escape card. What they love about you. What they? How they see you? How they? What they think about you? They see you as somebody who, you're not like everybody else. You're this free, free bird. She's even a fairy. Look at that. The court of love. Love. You're like this free bird, this fairy. This, this, uh, I'm getting like a sense of, um, you being very, uh, independent. Independent, uh, very loving. Uh, maybe you people what they see in you what they think about you is that you have you're like this free spirit yeah that's what i'm getting this free bird this free spirit this maybe you're like a freaking cupid with the the, fa the love fa fairy and then we have the escape so maybe you're like a cupid maybe you shoot people with bows and arrows and try to be a matchmaker i don't know but this escape card is like saying you're like the full card you're like the spontaneous free young hearted person and very bubbly very like ah 
you know, like, oh, she's so sweet. I just want to be around her. Ah, oh, she's going places. Escape. I'm getting like you're, they probably see you as someone who's traveling. Um, like you're, you're going places. You're achieving your goals. You're, yeah, a lot of love here for you. Hold on. Let me have appearance. Oh, there we go. How do they see you? They love your appearance. They love that you stand out from the crowd. That you're not like, um, what's it called? You're not blending in with everybody else. You're not blending in with the other leaves. You're like this hot, red, vibrant leaf. And everything else is brown around you. And you stand out. You're not supposed to be in, in the cookie cutter mold, you know? You're supposed to be your own authentic self. And I think you stand out from everybody else. You're like this person who just, you can see them far, far away. That's how uh, unique they are. So I think that's what they think about you. You're not like everybody else. You're not a blend or a carbon copy or, um, the, uh, you know, you're not like these stars. Just they're all the same. You're, you're like the shooting star rising. You're moving. Appearance. Yeah, they see that. They see that about you. Now, um, yeah, they see that in you. The rising shooting star. Someone who doesn't blend in. All right, let's see. Now... What you need to know, let's see what you need to know about how they see you. What you need to know, what do you need to know? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? We have wishes. Ooh, wishes. Okay. So, what I'm getting with this is that I feel that they see potential for you to follow your dreams, follow your goals. They see that you're going places, that you're going to fulfill your fantasies, your wishes. I think that's why this wishes card is here. And then we have maturity. Yeah, so someone who is progressing in her own skin or his own skin, they see someone who's blossoming into this beautiful apple, you know, before you were just a little uh, petals, petals, you were little petals on a tree, and now you're like this Look at that apple blo apple, apple blossoms, and then we have a, f a mature apple. So they see the beauty that you're withholding. It's like you've become a beautiful, fluttering butterfly or an apple, ready to um, roll down the ground, roll down the hill, and see and see if it can find a worm or something like that. <laughs> no, I'm, what I'm saying is that they see the beauty that you're um, you're changing into something beautiful inside and out. And I think that they see potential in you to, you know, this wishes card, the wish card is here. They see that you have a lot of goals or that they see uh, maybe a big road ahead of you for you to explore. And I think they want that for you. They want you to explore life. We have the vibrancy card here. They want you to see what life has to offer you. They see you as someone who has potential, someone who can, oh my gosh, turn into something amazing even more amazing you're already amazing but even more amazing maybe they see that you have gifts about your wishes maybe they see you as like this powerful person who has a lot of power you know a lot of magic within her wishes manifestation no i'm getting like they see that you are full of life and they want you to explore it they don't want you to dim your lights for anybody they don't want you to go backwards they want you to go forward now the last one i'm gonna do is what they think about you. If you're concerned about what they're thinking about you, let's see what they think about you, pound number two. What do they think about you, pound number two? What do they think about you, pound number two? What do they think about you, pound number two? Myth. Oh, snap. Okay. What do they think? This myth. Okay, what I'm getting with this, I feel that this is only saying that um, maybe people miss understand you they misinterpret misinterpret or not misinterpret but they they don't really get you this myth is like saying you know surface level they people see you in a different in a, in a certain way but then people don't really get to know you they judge you right off of appearance and i think that that can be what your people are seeing that they see that there maybe uh, strangers judge you and assume things about you without really getting to know you or maybe this is just how people perceive you maybe you feel misunderstood a myth it's like oh he said she said oh yeah she does this she does that or she's like this she's like that or she's grumpy she's always she always has the bitch rest the wrist the resting bitch face 
But then deep down inside, you're like, but you don't really get to know me. You don't even know why I have this resting bitch face. You don't know why I have this. It could be because I, that's just my facade or that's just how my face sits. It doesn't mean that I'm this grumpy bitch, you know. So um, I would say that maybe people, they judge you right off like surface, surface level. Like, I mean, they judge you on your surface level. They don't really get to know the deep, deep inside. Or they don't want to take the time to get to know deeper than what they see. And that's really unfortunate because they, they're missing out on a good friend or a good lover or a good business partner, whatever. So, um, yeah, and it can be that maybe people talk about you. They talk and talk and talk about you and they say he said, she said nonsense. And maybe you try to stay away from that crap. Maybe you're like, whatever, I don't have time for that. Maybe that's why it's hard for you to find friends. Maybe you feel like an outcast. But I'm here to tell you that us outcasts stay together. We have this this one there's light at the end of the tunnel yeah outcast maybe you stay hidden maybe you just stick to yourself maybe it's hard for you to find friends it's time to stop hiding there's light at the end of the tunnel so that's like this too shall pass you'll find people who are like you or those he said she says that that's yesterday's business right it, you you you'll forget about it at some point it's not it doesn't make you who you are it's just people's you know ignorance shining through right it's not facts it's not facts then we have it's time to move on yeah you can't you can't stay you can't dwell on the past you can't dwell on anything you can't dwell on what people are saying or thinking about you if it's negative because it doesn't mean that it's you it doesn't mean that it's your story it just means that they're closed-minded or narrow-minded or just ignorant yeah you know, if they would get to know you, they would see that you're not like what they're saying you are. Um, have no regrets. It's saying just do you. Do your own thing. Don't worry about all these other people, these negative people. Let them spread their myths if they want to. I know you. sometimes we like to set people right. We want to, um, you don't want people to think a certain way. And we can't control that. You know, we can't control what people think or say about us. But we can, um you know, guard ourselves and, and choose not to associate with these negative, ignorant people. So have no regrets. Look forward. Don't look backwards. See, look forward. If you go back, you go back darker into a cave. If you go forward, you see the light shining through, the light shining through. So I feel like what they see, what they, what people think about you is, is all misunderstandings. But once they get to know the real you, deep, deep, deep you, they get to see all this beautiful, wow, this beauty in you. Look, you've trained, you've changed into this beautiful moth or butterfly but what did you do to get there right they don't know your story they don't know your your what you had to go through to get here they don't know what darkness you just came out of you know so that's just on them you do you keep on shining your light keep on shining your light keep on following the light and keep on fluttering your wings flapping your wings all right that's what i get for you pile number two you have a lovely rest of your day and now we're on to pile number three let me know if that resonates or not pile number three we have the divine circus and you have this clear crystal quartz all right in the first position we have how do people see you wow rah 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 oh my gosh i'm getting goddess energy they see you as this powerful entity, this powerful being with a big voice, a loud voice, empowering voice. Rah, rah, rah. I feel like she, this is like a goddess here. I feel like there's a, some kind of high priestess here. I'm sorry. A goddess here, some kind of um, queen, like queen of wands. Yeah, queen of wands, high priestess, but someone who's very vocal to the strength card. When you need to be, you can roar it out. That's what I'm getting for that man. Someone thinks you're very powerful. Someone thinks you, they that you have a lot of oomph about you. And they probably think your voice is very loud. Not like loud in a mean way. Just like very profound. Like you can hear from a mile away. Um, yeah, I guess that's vocally loud, right? No, I'm talking about like... Wait, if you say something, it goes... Like people follow. People they bow down to you say okay yeah whatever you say whatever you say pr uh, prowess you know um i think that's what's happening here is that they see they're probably intimidated by you or they just they see you as a leader all right and so let me clarify wow how do they see you how do they see you pile number three how do they see you 
Please help me clarify this rock card. This one came out propel. Yes. Oh my gosh. A lot of a lot of movements. A lot of power. A lot of energy. Like you're going places. You have a voice and you're using it. And you're going far. You're not staying put. And your light is shining bright. Look all that light around her and this light here. Wow, this is amazing energy. How else do they see you? How else do they see you? How else do they see you? Harvest. Abundance. Look at that. So you have a lot of things going for yourself. You have a lot of options around you because of your voice, because of your strength, your power. You probably bring that stuff to you. You probably create those opportunities for yourself. You know, you don't just wait for things to plop on your lap. You create that. You're like this manifester, this magician, strength, strong, strong, strong energy here. And you're like a beaming light, a beaming light. You cut through. Look at that propel. Yes, you cut through. Movement, movement, movement. I'm getting like eight of wands energy. I'm also getting queen of wands. Oh, my gosh. And I'm also getting like the empress card here. Empress, yes, I'm getting the Empress, abundance, a lot of options, a lot of doors waiting for you to open them. All right, so that's what I'm getting for how they see you. And the second position we have is what you need to know about how they see you. So we have the Joker is wild. So, <laughs> wow. So, yes, the wild card, wild. Yes, like that freaking lion, that prowess, that lioness. They probably see you as a wild child. There's nothing dull or still about you. Nothing, nothing. Very, very bright. Nothing um, Nothing mysterious about you. You lay everything out. So we have... Wow, let me... No, too many cards. So let's clarify this wild card. Why is this wild card here? Why is this wild card here? Oh. Okay, why is this wild card here? My gosh, all these cards popping out. Why is this wild card here? Why is this wild card here? Okay, this one. Results. Wild. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one getting Queen of Wands. Yes. You bring things. You open up doors. You create. Like the Empress and the Queen of Wands. You master. You bring things forth. You bring things to you, right? Like you create those opportunities. You open those doors for yourself. You... It's like you either you manifest with your big fat wand and whatever you want, you say it and it comes to you with that freaking power you have. That empress energy, that strength card, that lion energy, yes. Results, you produce. Wow. You project your voice, you produce. Wow. Now, um, what we have for you for your what pe people think about you. Um, yeah, how how do they think what do they think? We already see how they see, but what do they think? The Nebula Warrior, yes, and then preparation. Look, Nebula Warrior, someone who's fierce, ferocious. That's what I'm saying, that lioness came out for a reason. You pounce, you pounce on what you're wanting. Whatever you want, you get it. Fierce, energize a bunny energy. <laughs> wow, this warrior princess, you've, and you've been through some stuff. Look, she has scratches everywhere. You've been through it. But that keeps you going. That keeps, that's your drive. Preparation, that's you. You have everything you need. And you bring everything that you want to the table or everything that you want. Whatever your, your, your mind is on, you say, look, you, you lay it all out. Look, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to get it. Are you with me or are you without me? Come on, we're doing this. And that's what I'm saying. Results, results came through, right? You have everything you need to prepare your delicious meal here. You have everything at your disposal. That's what I'm saying. The magician, the queen of wands. Heck yes, the lion, lioness. They see you as this, this powerful, ferocious go-getter who produces. And then we have caution. Oh. <laughs> All right, so here's the shadow side. The shadow side is that you can't mess with this energy. Don't try to get in this person's way. Don't, don't, yeah, in other words, don't, they can't, nobody can try to get in your way. You're not having that. Nobody, nobody can try to stop you. You're propelling. You're going forward. You're moving places. You're moving. You're moving. You're coming. You're coming and going. Coming and going. No one can stop you. No one. Wild lion. Like, this is intense energy. Nobody can try to get in your way. And if they try to get in your way, poof, you're gone. 
See ya. I'll see you in the rearview mirror. Where's that rearview mirror? I'll see you. I'll see you behind me. You're not. You're not coming with me because I have things to do, people to see. You know. So caution. Don't mess with me. Don't get on this person's bad side. Don't let. Or they can get on your bad side. Nobody can. Yeah. You might want to stay far, far away from your bad side. You want to stay on your good side. When it's good, it's good. When it's good, you're on the same page. You're the protector. Like I said, the empress, right? The abundance card, the lion. You protect. That's right. You take care of your people. But then once you cr double cross this energy, forget it. You might want to run for the hills. No, don't even run. Because the lions run really fast. Can you outrun a lion? Or a lioness? Can you? So don't run. To get, a, get a car. Or try to fly. <laughs> get those wings. Because that lion will catch you. Even if you try to run. So let's see. How do they think? What do they think about you? Pile number three. What do they think about you? It's time to move. Again with the movement. We're already moving. We already have road upon us. Yes. What else do they think about you, pile number three? Pile number three, what else do they think about you? Oh, snap. The null card, as Dr. Mystical would say. He called this the null card. I call this... You can call it however you feel like calling it. Or whatever you feel like calling it. Because it's a blank card. Um, is it up to your interpretation? But for me, I guess it's a null card. But I would also say like the full card. Um, impulsive or just very like spontaneous you have no fear you're just gonna go you're gonna go jump off that cliff and then you're like oh I'll think about the parachute after I'm already off the cliff and in midair you know oh let me figure out how I'm gonna land oh I'll just use my magical powers no this is saying um, you're like you don't really care you have no fear there's nothing stopping you or hindering your growth you just go 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 and also, this is like the full, yeah, new beginnings. Like, you bring those new beginnings. You tap into every new obstacle. or And you, you kill it. You, you, you dominate it. New beginnings. You master each beginning, each craft, each lifestyle. Whatever you get yourself into, you master it. You go all in. Man, this is beautiful. And this is you having a clean slate, clean mind. You don't have anything interfering with your growth. You have no distractions. You're very, like, focused one track mind you know there's no clutter no busy stuff happening it's just very clear clear cut simple plain and simple for you that's beautiful you have your mind right anyway thank you for watching pile number three check out piles number 201 or check out my other pick card reading coming tomorrow and all the links to these beautiful decks are linked below